Thank you. Thanks, Akim. There's really only one thing left to do, and that is to close this year's Global Landscapes Forum. But I'd like to do that by reflecting a little bit of the past and maybe of the future as well. It's only three years since we started the Global Landscapes Forum, and for those of you that were involved at that time, this was in Warsaw, you remember that it was not easy. There was a great deal of mutual suspicion between the forestry crowd who had done the forest day and the agriculture crowd who had done the agriculture day. But we did it anyway. And you could see already in Warsaw that the forestry crowd, they kind of looked at the agriculture sessions and the agriculture people, they looked at the forestry sessions. It was beginning to integrate. Then that continued in Lima. Integration happened, a lot more discussion. And we moved on to Paris and it's been fantastic here. We have new discipline sectors coming, in, coming into the forum, energy, water, law, finance. And I think we're now truly looking at a landscapes forum that is looking across those different uh, disciplines, sectors, values that we need to do. Um, somebody said that COP had 150 high-level heads of state. I would say that we've had 3,000 level-headed minds of high state. Yeah. And now, thinking about the future, GLF 21 will be in year 2033, if I calculate correct. Some of us will still be around, maybe. Um, <laughs> what do we need to think about on, for taking on this journey into the future? And as we evaluate this forum, I think there are four things that I would highlight. The first one is, are we keeping the high ground of the thinking behind the landscape approach? And I think we are. I talked about values in the opening, and I think we're really broadening and taking the, taking the perspective that this is about sustainable development at large, and it's about values that go way beyond Marx's values that he talks about all the time. Finance is important, but there are many other values that go into the landscape as well. Um, so yes, on that first point, I think we are keeping to that higher ground, and uh, we are speaking with more and more authority about the landscape approach. The second point is, are we impacting ourselves in the sense, do we as individuals change through this process? And I, I think we do. I think all of us are learning as we go. We are learning, getting new inputs from different disciplines that we hadn't heard about. And we're putting things together. We are making up our own minds about this and improving our own um, understanding and thinking about landscapes. So that works. Thirdly, are our organizations that we represent also changing in this direction? And I think so too. I think all of the re organizations we represent are learning from this process, putting it into context for their specific mandates. At C4, we're doing it from a forestry perspective. And all of you represent other types of organizations. And I think we're all building this thinking into our fabric. The fourth point, however, is one area where I think we need to consider a little bit more. And that is, are we having an impact on the ground? Are we taking all this fantastic knowledge, thinking, experience, um, dialogue into actual change on the ground? And I guess the best answer to that is that we don't really know. I think we should look at that side of things. So I think we should, first of all, understand better what impact we have. But secondly, I think we should probably, as we design future Landscapes Forum, specifically look at how can we improve actual impact on the ground and, not, and, and thereby improve the whole setting and the whole um, way of moving forward with, with the forum. I think that, that's really essential. So that's, that's what we are going to dive into um, after the Christmas breaks, I guess. Um, together with all our partners, together with uh, all of you that have been here, there will be evaluations coming out, and we hope that all of you will respond to those in a very, very constructive and forward-looking way. So 
It's been great to, to see you all here. I can't see you right now, but it's been great to have you all here. Um, look forward to interact with you a lot in the future as well. So first of all, a big hand for all of you for making this forum a success. I now have a logistic announcement, that is that once this is all over, there's a cocktail reception outside. So now I've said that, remember that. And my, my last thing to do is to introduce the performance that is going to be the last uh, event on stage. I'm not sure where it's going to happen, I guess, around here. And it's a group called Te Mau Aroha. They're from New Zealand, from a place called Aotearoa. So you're very much...